Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this week's video. Today I have for you a plant haul and honestly this is the mother of all plant hauls. For that reason it's going to be split into two videos. Now I don't normally like to do that, normally I like to just make a long video and even if it's an hour just give it to you guys. But unfortunately, well it's unfortunate for you, it's not unfortunate for me. I'm going on holiday for two weeks so when you see this I'm pretty sure I'm on holiday, maybe I've just come back. So to make sure that you guys still have content while I'm away. I'm going to split this into two videos, but seriously, I must have at least 10 plants in each video, at least. I don't even know. So I have some plants to show you in this plant haul, and honestly, I don't even know if I've got a single one of them in before. Every single plant, just about, sorry, I'm looking across the floor now where they all are, nearly every single plant is new to me. And I think that's cool because quite honestly, I surprise myself every day because I've done this for what, two, three years now, and I still manage to find new shit. That is awesome, by the way. I've got some really good ones. So we're going to get started. They're in no particular order. They are fresh imports. And when I say fresh imports, I mean as of last night. So these are very, very fresh. They're still in pretty much the packaging they came in. So I'm just going to show you them as they are. I have tags in them because they're all new to me, bar maybe like two plants or something like that. So I will go through the names as we go. And that's kind of it, really. Let's just get started. I'm already getting too hot and all of the heating is off. I have to turn the heating off to film usually because it just gets ridiculous in here when you wear these kind of tops. And I have to wear these kinds of tops sometimes if I don't have any t-shirts clean because I need something that's short enough for the lav mic to sit on. So anyway. Right, I'm going to get the first plant. The first plant I'd like to show you is an anthurium, and I'm pretty sure I've got the right one. I think I mentioned this plant. Oh my goodness, when did I mention this? I think I talked about it in my updated anthurium rare plant index, which was, I think it was this year or late last year. I can't even remember anymore, but I'm going to hold it up for you. This is, I'm going to have to read from the tag because they're fresh in. This is anthurium longissimilobum. So I'm pretty sure it was that really big long anthurium that could resemble kind of a spiritus sort of vibe. So I'm going to show you it, and I'm not going to spend too long on him because he's very, very young. But I'll just show you what he looks like here. Hopefully we will get some good focus action today. He's nice. He's very glossy. He's very young, obviously, but he's already got those really, really good lobes coming in. I'll just back up with him a little bit so you get a bit more context. It's no good without context. He's quite bushy, actually. He seems like he's going to be easy care. And yes, I'm making assessments just off these things hitting the shop floor. As I mentioned, they've all come in last night. But due to how it looks and how it feels, I can kind of make an assessment. It's probably going to behave a little bit like VCI and sort of stuff like that. It's just the same kind of vibe. They don't really die from shipping or anything. They hold all their water still. They don't freak out. It's probably going to be absolutely fine. So yeah, I won't spend too long on him, but I need you to see the lobes because the lobes are insanity. Just to show you the rest of the plant, I will try and uh, swizzle it around for you. I'll stand a little bit back so again, you get a bit more context. But he's really cute, isn't he? I have a couple of these. I think I can see one, two, three. And I really like him so far. How will they do? Time will tell. We'll see. But yeah, this was Anthurium. Honestly, I'm going to butcher names today. Anthurium longissimilobum. I keep one. I'm reading the tag because I keep wanting to call it longissimilobum. Apparently it's not, unless I've got that wrong. But there he is. Very cute. And we'll put him back down because we have a lot to get through, guys. Oh, I'm going to jump straight in with this one because this one excites me so much. So if you happen to be a fan of philodendron serpents or anything a bit hairy, then you're going to love this one, especially if you like dark foliage. These have come in and I'm, I'm low key obsessed with them. I'm not going to lie. So this here is, what is it? It is philodendron squamacoli red or squamacol. I call it squamacol, but this is him. Seriously, I know he's called red, right? And that's obviously because of these backs here, which are amazing. Do not get me wrong. Try and stop it from focusing on me. There, look at those. Are they not absolutely incredible? Let's see if I can get those stems up as well. Obviously, they have a little bit of packaging still around the stem and stuff. So if you see any bits like that, that's all it is. It's not webs or anything like that. It's just packaging. Can you see how beautiful that is? But not only that, look at how dark this foliage is. Look at this, please. Oh my God, that's really pretty. I didn't expect it to be this pretty, to be honest. I have another one down here. I may as well pick it up even though I do think that's a nicer one. How amazing are these? I absolutely adore these. And honestly, I need to keep one of these for myself. I need to grow it out because that's beautiful. Let me just pop this down again. Oh, wow. Seriously? Seriously, how did I not know about this plant? Look at that in the light as well. 
That is just amazing. If I can grab something green really, really fast so you can actually see the comparison in color. I'll just pick up essentially what I showed you before. It's just a different different plant, same anthurium. Just to show you the color difference here. This is green. I would say it's ever so slightly a lighter green, but not a ton. But look at the color difference. Look at the color difference. Oh my goodness. That is incredible. Absolutely incredible. And honestly, it's it's one of my favorites in this haul because I don't I don't think you can beat that, you know. One more look before I put them down, because as I say, we had a lot to get through. And I want this to be just about the plants today. Nothing else. Can you see how I've splashed some water on there and it just makes it look extra Instagrammy? That's amazing. That might have to be a thumbnail. I've got a really nice variegated plant to show you, which I might put on the thumbnail today. I mean, you'll know what I've decided to do. But if I don't decide to do that, that's going on the thumbnail. That's absolutely unbelievable. So, going back to Anthurium really briefly, the next plant I have to show you, it looks like it's been bug-eaten, but I'm pretty sure it's the packaging and it's snapped. It's not actually bug-eaten. You can kind of tell, to be honest. But the next plant I have to show you, I, I've had this before. I've talked about this before. I've said how anxiety-inducing it is. And I haven't had it in for years and years and years. It's been so long. But I thought, you know what? It's time to give it a second go. It's time to see if it's worth it. So it does look like shit, but that's not the point. We're going to see if we can grow it, right? Next plant I have to show you is Anthurium splendidum. I know. Did you ever think I would ever get one in again? Because I didn't. But I thought, why not? So I'll show you what he looks like. This is what I'm saying when I say, you know, I think he might have been eaten, but he hasn't. You can tell it's kind of snapped when you get up to it, which is a real big shame. So if anyone wants to know how this plant feels, it almost feels, to be honest, like a common garden plant. It's really bizarre. It doesn't feel like a fancy corrugated plant to me. It just feels like a really strong corrugated kind of cabbage, and it makes no sense to me. But I'll show you him up close. Again, won't spend too long on him because he's, he's a little bit fucked up, isn't he? He's not doing his best, but he could do his best and he could look pretty nice. You can see on camera he's coming off quite beautifully, to be honest. There's a lot of dimension. I often find the plants that sometimes don't look great in real life look brilliant on camera. He's looking pretty good, to be honest. There's another leaf there. So a little bit funky. And then he does have two lower leaves down here. There's one of them. And then he has another one down here. Now, honestly, I don't know what to expect, guys. I have no idea what's going to happen to this thing. The last time I tried to look after a Splendidum was in like 2019 or something. I bought them in and they kept on dying. So I, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with this. We will see. And if it dies very quickly, I will tell you about it. Although it might die when I'm on holiday. So that's not great. This is not the best time to be bringing plants in, by the way. I'm recording this on the Friday. I'm going away on like the Tuesday or the Wednesday. So when I'm away is like the maximum maximum worst time you could ever go away because it's when these plants are really going to take a dive. So hopefully I don't lose half of these plants, but we'll move on from him because he's pretty basic, to be honest. And I did genuinely just buy him in for a test to see if I still hated them, if they were still difficult and everything else. So I'll let you know. Really? Sorry, I'm adjusting my frame a little bit so that I can actually get to you a little bit easier. Right, that should be a little bit easier. I'm finding it's a struggle to actually get up to you with the camera here. Okay, I'm probably gonna spend zero time on this one as well, but it's a nice follow-up to the Splendidum. You can see all of the packaging still left on here. No, that's not webs. No, that's not something horrific. That is just packaging. This here is Anthurium rugulosum. Have I had this in before? I feel like, yeah. So it's a corrugated Anthurium and I don't remember it being difficult. Now, if anyone owns this plant in the comments, honestly correct me on that if I'm wrong, but I feel like Rugulosum was an easier one. I think Philodendron Rugulosum is, is not good. It's quite difficult, but I feel like this one was easier. Am I wrong? I don't know. But anyway, let me show you it because this probably might look okay on camera. I think the Splendidum looked better, but if I just show you how this does look for anyone that's curious or anyone that might want it. So it's a bit like a Splendidum, only it's larger and it's less corrugated and it's a bit more chill. I would say it's got more chill. So it is quite a nice one if you want an anthurium that's corrugated and it's a little bit different from the norm. I don't think these are super popular, by the way. I don't generally think anthuriums that aren't velvety are that popular, unless they've got something, something else going on, which I'm about to show you one next that really does. But generally, I don't think these kind of anthurium are really popular. I don't really know why. Maybe they just look too run of the mill and not very exotic for people. I mean, it's what you like, really, at the end of the day, isn't it? So there you go. There is anthurium rugulosum, a little bit like the splendidum, only taller, but more chill. Right. 
there are a couple of plants that I personally believe you should be excited in throughout these next two plant hauls, and I honestly think this might be one of them. I only have one of these plants, but I've got it in, and I'm a little bit obsessed with it. Like, I'm a little bit obsessed with it, and I need to see how well this thing grows. So if you like sort of long boys, and you're a fan of big ears, like spiritus style plants, then you might want to watch this next bit. Because I have here, what is he called? He is called the Anthurium, sorry, I'm dripping him off me so that I don't get water all over my trainers. Anthurium SP Napu or Napo Super Narrow. Are you ready? It's really good. I'm not just saying it, it's really good. Does it look good? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Oh my God, that looks really good. Oh, it's making me giddy. So I'll put him next to my head so you actually can tell because sometimes if I hold it up to the camera, it looks really big, obviously. Obviously. That's how big he actually is. That's parallel with my body there. He's lovely, isn't he? So he has, he's glossy, but he's not, he's not super glossy, to be honest. He's quite matte looking. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, he's not super, super glossy like a lot of other anthurium. These ears, man. Oh my God. These ears look, look, Please focus. This would be such a shame if you didn't, camera. Look at that. Oh my god. Tell me that ain't sexy. Honestly, if you, you know what, if you don't like plants like these, I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get how you can't like this. This is amazing. Very structural, by the way. It's very, very solid. It reminds me kind of of my mysterious dark boy in structure. It's very solid. I don't foresee this even taking a downturn. Obviously, it depends on what the roots are like. And no, I haven't checked. I haven't got a clue. They came in last night. So this is the best it's probably going to look for a little while. But honestly, 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 that looks unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. This personally, in my opinion, is a plan to be excited about. I might need to get some more of these. Oh my lord. That is so nice. One more because we do have a lot to get to. Stop focusing on my face. How rude. How rude. Have a little hold up to the camera there. Oh, I'll show you the back, by the way, because I know a lot of people want to see petioles and petiole insertions. And I'm, I'm a bit rude with that on camera. I don't often do that. That's him. That's the back of him. He's pretty cool. There's not really a lot to see at the bottom. It's just that top bit. He's pretty amazing, though, right? Like, he's... This is, this is nice. I'm sorry, this is really nice. So yeah, I don't think he's anyone specific really, but this could be a mysterious long boy, couldn't it? I might have to call him mysterious long boy, just, just for my own personal naming. That's not me trying to name a plant. Just to keep him with dark boy, and then we can kind of keep him together as a little family. <gasps> Ooh, that's really nice. Okay, I'm going to put him down because we have a lot to get through. I'll get this guy out of the way too, just because he's here. He's here. I wasn't actually going to show you him, but I will anyway. This is just a super, it's not a super big beachy eye, but it's just a beachy eye I bought in, look. And he is looking pretty good, so I should probably show you. He's done that classic supply of beachy eye thing where they grow the wrong way. <laughs> so I have one that's growing up, and then there's a really pretty one here that is the new leaf, actually, and it's grown real funky. Can you see that? That's awesome. It's grown really funky there, and that's the newest leaf. And I will put this up to the camera because... I don't feel like beachy eye get a lot of press, you know? And I find that a bit weird because they're really cool. And they're very easy compared to all the big, long, velvety things. I kind of like them. Plus, isn't it the only... Is it the only anthurium with abs? I can't remember now. I think it is. Sorry, I'm trying to move this guy out of the way so you can see this guy because this guy's awesome. You see him? There you go. Try and get the vertical boy on this side because he's probably going to be a lot easier to show, is he not? Look at him. Ooh... Really, really nice. I do have a bigger beachy eye that I brought in as well, but I'll save it for the next video. He's over there. He's probably borderline twice as big as this, maybe. So I'll show you him in the next video because the next video I do, the next haul that you will see next week is, I'm looking at them on the floor now, big, big plants. If you remember in like, what, 2020, I did a big aroid haul, like large aroids. It's going to be a little bit more like that. So if you're interested in that, you definitely want to tune in next week. And I will show you that beachy eye as well because it's really good. Right, what else have we got? Oh, I'll show you this. This is pretty special. Right, I'm going to show you this next plant. And I actually thought it was something else, just on first sight anyway, before I asked what it was and then I bought it. I bought this a while ago. It's been in the pipeline for ages. It's going to look like something else when I hold it up. And you're all going to say the same thing probably at the same time sat at home watching this, right? I'm going to hold it up and I'm going to show you what it is. So I'm going to move the tag out of the way so y'all can't guess. But this is what I'm going to hold up for you like that. How pretty is it? Before I tell you what it is, can we just, can we just understand how pretty that is? And my camera's wanting to focus on a really random part of the screen. Look at that. 
Oh, it's really nice, that. The variegation, it's not full white. It, I hate saying it, you know I do, but it kind of looks minty at the minute. doesn't look full white at all. If it's coming off minty on camera, it's because it kind of is, to be honest. So I know what you all are probably going to say you think it is, but it's not velvety. So what you probably may have thought it was on first glance was a philodendron gigas. I would pick one up and show you. I think I've got some over there. I've got a big one over there and there's no way I can pick that up. But Gigas look very, very similar at this size, certainly. But it's not. So this is Philodendron Gibrianum or Gibrianum variegated. And I'm very excited. Now, I'm pretty sure this new leaf has plenty of it on. It's just early days yet. But of course, I will do a video like I did a few weeks ago where I basically give you some leaf updates. I would love to do one of those every, you know, once in a while. I think it's a really cool way of updating you what I've got in the shop. And I'll be sure to tell you how this goes. But how nice is he? Never had philodendron gibrianum in before, let alone a variegated one. But I kind of couldn't resist because he's a little bit awesome. And quite honestly, if he keeps on growing like that, I think he'll be a very desirable plant. So I'll let you know. I'll show you the back of him if I can pull him up without snapping him. Can you imagine? I'll show you the back of him there. There's not a lot to see. I don't really know why I'm showing you the back of him. But that's what he looks like. He's lovely, isn't he? And there's his new leaf. You probably can't see a whole wedge. A little bit of shipping damage on that leaf. Turn around. You can see sort of where some variegation and where some green is there on the stem. But that's him. Doesn't he look lovely? He's very nice, isn't he? I'm quite excited about him. We will see how quickly he grows. He might grow shit. I don't know. Never had him in before. But he's not velvety, so that helps, I would say. I always think velvet stuff is generally a little bit more difficult than none. So I'm going to let you know what happens to him, because I have kind of kind of high hopes. We'll have to see. The next plant I have to show you is a bit of an odd bod as well. I'm just going to hold him straight up. I don't know what to think of him, guys. I don't know how he's going to come off on camera, so we will see what happens when I hold him up because I can see a different tone to him, but he, I thought he'd be a bit more silvery, light-colored kind of thing. So this here, let me just double-check what he is. Yes, this is Philodendron Columbia Platinum. So I'm going to show you him to the camera. Oh, you know what? You know what? On camera, you can actually see it. So I would argue that his colors are coming off more on camera under these soft boxes I have here than what they are, at least in this unit. But in this unit, I have quite warm lighting on him, I would say. I'm guessing the gag with this philodendron is obviously platinum. He's supposed to be a bit more silvery. And I can kind of see it, to be honest. It's just going to take putting him next to something green. I can see it on camera. It's funny. I couldn't when I picked it up from down there, but I'm right underneath a, a really orangey light there. So I take back kind of what I've just said. I think you can see it. Let me know what you think of him. Because when he... That's a fully hardened leaf, by the way. I think this leaf is a new one here. Um, so that's a little bit lighter still. This one is a little bit more hardened. And I think you can see the really beautiful colors. That, that would make a nice thumbnail too. What am I going to do with these thumbnails, guys? There's so many nice ones. Just hold him like that. Look how nice that is. Oh, that's so pretty. So yes, this is, what is it? Philodendron Columbia Platinum. But it's Philodendron Pastazanum, so it's a type of pasta. So it's like a platinum pasta, basically. Well, Pastazanum, it's not pasta. You get, you get it, you I get didn't it. I understand that. I'm not even talking to you. I don't know why my watch is trying to talk back to me. That's weird. No, you know what? I like him. Now that I've held him up and I can see the colors on camera compared to the green stuff I've held up, I actually really like him. He's quite nice. Yeah, I like him. Let's hold him up one more time. And then I will just show you the other parts of the plant here. This is quite cool, this one. This one's really quite silvery, actually, isn't it? Silvery, you know what I mean? I'd almost call it a gray-blue color. Would you call it gray-blue? I feel like I would. It is quite nice, actually. I'd like to see this grown out and a bit bigger and give it a feed, see what it's like in here, see if the color stays and everything like that. So this is another plant that I will absolutely update you on. But he's really quite nice, isn't he? He looks lovely. I hope he doesn't take a dive. He's quite nice. Although pastas on them tend to be kind of all right when they come in here. They're not too bad. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. Right, the next one is another oddball. No one really knows quite what it is, but it is variegated and I had to have it. I want to see what this looks like when it gets more mature because it's, you can see it's so juvenile, you don't really know which way it's going to go, kind of thing. Sorry, we need a drink actually. Pepsi break, one moment. So this here, I have it in my tag, is Philodendron SP Tropicals Variegated, or VAR, whatever have you. And essentially, 
it does remind me of something. I don't really know what it is, but this is what he looks like. Can you see him? I'll try and just, again, completely cover my voice and show it to you. Now, I do think this is yellow variegation. Difficult to tell. I'm going to have to grow him out in my conditions and see if he stays this color or he changes. If I had to describe the variegation to you now, I would say it's lime green slash... Honestly, I would say it was all three. I'll tell you why I think that, right? If I show you this here, you can see that it's, it's essentially lime green, right? I would say that was really limey. If I show you this leaf here, it almost looks like it could be going a slight mint color. And if I show you this one here, it looks like it could harden to a yellow color. So across the whole plant, I'm not entirely sure really. This little low cluster here has a little bit, I don't know if it's part of the same plant or not, but clearly it's just started to, to do a little bit of a, a little bit of a variegation. This one is coming out, I think it's semi-deformed when it's coming out, so that might look a bit shit when it does happen. And I do see something on that leaf there. It's, it's nothing other than moss. If you're worried, if you can see anything, is it going to focus? Yeah, that's kind of where the leaf is at, at the minute. If I move it with my hand, I'll try and do the other side as well. So you can see it. That's what it's looking like at the minute. So it looks cool. I love it. I'm really excited about it. But I can't really tell you what color it is because to me, I don't know whether it's going to be yellow or not. Gut Instinct says it's going to be yellow, by the way. It could just be a limey green, though. We need to really see and get this in a bit more light, I think. Hammer it a little bit, see if we can see what happens with it. I want to say it's going to do what Monstera Aurea does, i.e. it is yellow. I don't know. Let me know what you think is going to happen with that. I'm, I'm going to run with a guess of it being yellow variegation. I'm not entirely sure. I'd have to look at the photograph from when I bought it. I think I need to go and have a look at that because I can't remember. It was ages ago now. But there he is. So this is Philodendron SP Tropicals Variegated. So we will see what happens with him, really. He's very cute, though, isn't he? You can see what I mean about him being so juvenile that I think his shape is going to change a lot. He just has that look to him where if he gets a lot older, he's going to change. So I'll do a little bit of little bit of reading, a little bit of looking up on this guy and see what happens. But he's very sweet, isn't he? Very, very sweet. I will stabilize him and then get to work on propagating him, I think, because he's quite cute. He doesn't have much in the way of aerials. They're very delicate because he's a very young plant. So I'll probably cut some and leave some. I'll cut him once, leave one bit to grow out completely and then just start chopping at the rest. Really depends. This is nice and stable though, so you almost don't want to cut them. When they're doing things like this, this is when you fear cutting them. Sorry, it's not focusing at all, is it? There you go. Yeah, when they behave like this, you almost fear cutting them really. Because you get really nice behavior across every leaf, which what more could you want? If you cut them, sometimes you risk getting like all green, all yellow. So mm, we'll see how it goes. But let me know what you think of him. I just think he's really cute. And I had to give him a go because I've never had him before. He looks a bit... But he's... He's cute. I like him. So this next plant, I do believe, is Anthurium luthery, and it's quite nice. Now, I am delving into long boys a little bit more. I actually have quite a few long boys in here. I have some... Oh, I don't even know what it's called. What is it called? What is it called? I wish I could hold it up for you, but I'm scared of breaking them. I have things like Anthurium pallidiflorum super narrow in here and stuff like that. And I can't remember if I'd ever hold that for you. I might not have. So I do have some long boys. I might do a long boy update at some point because I do have a few, even though you guys might have seen Big Bill recently. But anyway, I'm kind of experimenting with long boys of different types. And I bought this in. So this is Anthurium luthery. And it, it, he's small, don't get me wrong, but he's pretty cool. I'll show you him back here and then I will bring him up to the camera because the devil is in the details with him and you... <laughs> I don't feel like this really does it justice. It looks semi-pathetic anyway, so it's not going to have great wow factor. If I just hold it up straight, it's a bit like, well, okay. You know what I mean? So I'll show you this up close. I'll show you the stem first. If it wants to focus. Yay, it does. So that's the stem. Very, very woody though. These are aerials. For some reason, they've been chopped. Me me not happy about that. But there's aerials. So uh, to be honest, from looking at those, it looks like it's going to propagate all right. To be honest, they're sound. So the leaves, which one is the best one? They're all pretty decent, really. So the leaves, if it lets me focus, look a bit like this. You see that? A lot of detail, really nice. I'm pretty sure these are the anthurium that when they get more mature, they really go for it. Yeah, I think when these get mature, they, um, they look a lot more ribbed, as with everything. Sorry, it is trying to focus on my face. This is the problem with narrow plants. You can't block your own face out. You have to go right up to the camera. So sorry, you're not getting any um, context as much with this one. It's, it's difficult. This is the other leaf, by the way. 
looking pretty similar. I'll try and move it back and cover me. There you go. That's a little bit better, isn't it? So you get a bit more context. Really, really nice, isn't he? And then the new leaf, I will do my best to show you, but he's so cute and small. So let me just try and put my hand in front of him. I'm dripping everywhere with this plank. You see it in the background, dripping away. That's his new leaf. Sorry, I can't do much other than show you it in that way. That is really difficult to show you. So this is Anthium Luthery. He seems like he's going to be quite decent. I can't see him tanking. He seems pretty hardy, but honestly, anything can happen. Plants surprise me every day. So we'll see how it goes, but I think he looks all right. I like him. He looks a bit, but I'm sure he'll get a bit more, you know, a bit more favorful as he grows up. And that is it for today's plant haul. Literally, I'm so excited. I'm going to film the next haul on the back of this. And trust me, it is something you want to see. I'm looking at a plant down there that I'm literally, so you know how obsessed I was with the, I can't remember his name now, the, uh, the single leaf anthurium with the big ears. Imagine a philodendron like that right? I'm, oh my god, I'm so excited. I've kept him for the next video because he's classed as one of the bigger boys, so I'm going to show you him in the next video, but I'm so excited. So I'm going to film that now. Thank you very much for watching this haul. Let me know what you thought of the plants in this video. I'm personally excited about the variegated Dribrianum. I can't even say it today. I love the dark squammy call. I think they're unbelievable. I think they're probably going to be a really nice new addition to people's plants because it's dark foliage and you know we love that. Well, I feel like most people do. Who, who doesn't love dark foliage. So yes, let me know what you think. Obviously, variegated stuff, great, but hopefully I've tossed in a couple of new things in there that you might like, especially that Anthurium. Oh, that was it, the SP Napo or Napu. Is it Napu or Napo? I can't remember. But he is just, mm, he's amazing. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this haul this week. Please stay tuned for the haul next week. You might not want to miss that. I have some aroids with leaves about this big easily, maybe even this big. It's going to be sick. I can't wait to see you there. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. It lets me know that I'm doing a good job making content for y'all. And if you're not already, I would love it if you could subscribe because still only 50% of the people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. And I know that sometimes YouTube actually unsubscribes people as well. I've had it happen to me with my subscriptions, so it might be worth checking that out. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next haul. Bye!